So everybody, I've been sitting here working on finishing some resin pieces. As you can see, I'm coating them. Here's one that I made for my mom, and um, here's another one I made for my mom. I just have to give them glaze, so the backs are getting glazed on these, and the fronts on some of these. These are the light switches I made for my mom. They're Betty Boop. This one's not being glazed, because I didn't have enough glaze in this batch, but here's the front what it looks like. Nice, isn't it? And if I can get a hold of this one nicely. This is what the front looks like. It's going to be shinier um, when you glaze. After you do the resin, when you pop it out of the mold, it's kind of cloudy. And then when you glaze it, it, it looks nicer. This is a piece that I did for my sister. And she had it on her phone and some of the stickers started popping off. So I reglazed it again. So it has a second layer. This is a uh, repurposed phone cover. Ah, now I got resin on my finger, but that's okay. It'll come off easily. I found an easy way to get resin. If anybody works with resins, use this stuff because it's alcohol and alcohol takes the resin off of your fingers like in a snap. But, um, this one goes really well. Sorry guys, I like to watch movies when I'm working. So, yeah, um, this is actually a broken cover that my sister had, and it was lime green um, zebra stripes, and yeah. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm still sick. <coughs> and then I was working on this piece. This is my aunt's um, Christmas piece. I'm not finished it yet. Well, it goes like that. I just put the glitter in the top, and then I gotta put another layer of resin over this. And um, my craft area is kind of messy, and I just... I put a layer of resin on this one because I realized I didn't glaze the outside of that, so that's sitting there. And, um, yeah, my crafting area gets kind of messy after a while. And, well, anyways, so I get out my stuff and I usually sit some stuff on the side and I forgot that I had this little guy sitting over here. And look, he got into everything. All this stuff here goes in that box, same with these. They go on this bag over here. I'm glad he didn't take everything out or play with the bag, you know. And uh, he drew me a masterpiece. I When I do resin, I always put the times down for when I mix and, and uh, lay everything and coat everything. Because it makes it easier so I don't forget to, you know, or I don't touch it by accident. And then the next day, it makes it easier so I know when I can pop them out. So he just kind of did a little Jackson Pollock on that. And everything is everywhere. These little bear things that he has in his hand, they go together. Let me see if I can show you. They go together like this. He had a ball with that. Drawn. Didn't you? Of course he had to put the box on his head. Why is the box on your head? Getting in the Mickey tape. All my little deco tapes and everything. Hmm. Crazy guy. I think we have an artist on our hands here. I think we have an artist. <laughs> 